The B1617 variant of COVID-19 first found in India last October seemed to be transmitted more easily than the original version of the virus. The World Health Organization said the variant first identified in India last year was being classified as a variant of global concern. Our virus evolution working group and our epi teams and our lab teams internally, um, there is some available information to suggest increased transmissibility of B1617. Um, there is a preprint that is out, so this is a paper that has not undergone peer review, um, and it's of a limited number of patients suggesting that there is some um, reduced neutralization, um, and as such, we are classifying this as a variant of concern at the global level. It is Monday, 10 May 2021. My name is Christian Lindmeier. What we know now is that the vaccines work, the diagnostics work, the same treatments that are used for the regular virus work, so there's really no need uh, to change any of those. And in fact, there should be, people should go ahead and get whatever vaccine is uh, available to them um, and that they're eligible for. We are still in a perilous situation. The spread of variants, increased social mixing, the relaxation of public health and social measures, and inequitable vaccination are all driving transmission. Yes, vaccines are reducing severe disease and deaths in countries that are fortunate enough to have them in sufficient quantities. And early results suggest that vaccines might also drive down the shocking global disparity in access to vaccines remains one of the biggest risks to ending the pandemic. High and upper middle income countries represent 53% of the world's population, but have received 83% of the world's vaccines. By contrast, low and lower middle income countries account for 47 percent of the world's population but have received just 17 percent of the world's vaccines hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates